guys hope you're doing well today this is going to be my february empties and i definitely don't have as much as other months i'm filming this a couple days early and also february is a very short month but i'm hoping in march i will have even more empties if you're new to empties videos basically i talk about the products that i finished in that month and let you know whether or not i repurchase them and give you mini reviews on them i have some makeup products some skincare i think like one hair care item and a few other things if you want to see me talk about my beauty trash just keep watching as you guys know, I like to start off with my makeup empties, so I did finish off two eyeshadows, and this one is in the shade Liar Liar, and it was from ColourPop. There's nothing left in there, but it was a really pretty pinky champagne color. It was really pretty as a highlight. I didn't love it on my lid because I didn't feel like it was that impactful, but as a face highlight, inner corner highlight, or mixing with other shades, it was beautiful. I don't think I'd repurchase it again because it's just a basic champagne shade, and it wasn't my absolute favorite, but it was a really pretty color and formula. And then I did finish off this shade from the Too Faced Natural Love palette in the shade Fairy Tale, and this was a really pretty glittery gold champagne color, and it did have some fallout. It was a gorgeous shade. I loved this on my lid or for my inner corner, and it was very crumbly, but it was a really pretty color, and I did actually recently get my Natural Love palette back, so I'm excited about that. And then next, I finished off this Urban Decay Eyeliner in Perversion. This was just a half size, and this was a really creamy black eyeliner. This was my favorite Urban Decay liner that I've tried. I feel like the formula was a little bit different on this one, and it just was a plain black eyeliner. But I do have another eyeliner from Essence that I'm using that is black, and it's so much cheaper. It's less than $3, so I would not purchase one of these Urban Decay liners. But if I ever get sent them as samples, I would totally use it up again. So this product is a skincare and also kind of makeup empty. This is the Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. And this was in my Finish 8 by Easter project pan. And I love this stuff. I've gone through so many bottles of it. I have a smaller bottle that I'm using right now. This is the largest bottle that they sell, I'm pretty sure. And I think it retails for like $12. It's so worth it. I feel like the spray on the smaller one's better than this one. But it is a really good product. I use it as a setting slash finishing spray and also a toner. So it definitely has multi-purposes for me and I love this product and I'll always repurchase it. This product was like a family empty. This was the Winterberry Wonder Fragrance Mist from Bath & Body Works. And we use this as a room spray for the bathroom or like bedrooms. And it was a really strong berry scent. I've gone through a full size of this myself and I liked it but it is a very strong scent so it's not something I think we'd repurchase or at least I wouldn't repurchase. I did finish off some wax cubes. This is the Better Homes and Garden Farm Apple Pumpkin and this was an apple pumpkin scent. I'm kind of over it. I've gone through a few packs of these and I don't think I'd repurchase them at least until the fall time but it does have a nice throw and it comes with six different cubes and I love the Better Homes and Garden wax cubes. I feel like they have really nice throws. And then I finished off this Bath and Body Works Little Hand Sanitizer and Mermaid make waves. I think this is in the scent Caribbean Escape, which I'm not the biggest fan of that scent. I don't think I'd pick up this one again, but I love using their hand sanitizers in my desk, in my purse, in my car. I use them all the time. I swear this is going to be like a five minute empties. I really don't have that much. So I have one hair care item that I finished off this month. This was the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo, and this has was sent to me from Influencer, and this is just the travel size. I did not like this stuff. Everyone loves this dry shampoo, but I did not like it at all. It had a really gross scent. It was like, I don't know, it reminded me of the dentist, but also reminded me of pasta. Very weird combination. I did not love it, and I know Matt hated this, so I would not purchase it. It's not worth it for the price to me either. I prefer my Batiste, and I feel like this leaves a really strong, gross residue in my hair. But if you like texture, I feel like this would be a good dry shampoo for you, but I don't need to texturize my hair. At least I don't want to. I'm really glad I'm done that. I finished off two lotions. The first one's from Bath & Body Works. This is the Vanilla Bean Noel body cream, and the notes in here are... Fresh Vanilla Bean, Warm Caramel, Sugar Cookies, Whipped Cream, and Snow Kissed Musk. And I did finish it. I cut this open and got what I could out of here. And I love the scent of Vanilla Bean Noel, and I like the formula of their body creams. I feel like they just moisturize my skin really well. I prefer the Vanilla Bean Noel in the lotion form, but this one was really good too. And then I finished off this one from Pacifica. It's also a vanilla scent. This was the Pacifica Island Vanilla Intensely Moisturizing Body Butter. I liked this, but I also didn't. The smell was nice, but I feel like it was greasy, but it sunk in quickly. I don't really know. I didn't feel like it was super, super moisturizing, and I did cut up this one as well. I liked keeping this at my desk. It was the perfect size for it. But I don't know if I'd purchase this scent again. I would definitely love to try out other scents from them and see if this was on sale or something. I might pick it up again. But it wasn't my favorite lotion that I've tried. I finished off a pack of the Swiss Cotton Rounds. And I got a three pack. And these were 
total crap. These ones like fall apart, but I'm not going to get too bougie with my cotton rounds. I'll keep purchasing them because they're cheap. I can deal with it. But I did finish off these and there were a hundred in them. Finally, I have some skincare items. This one is one of the products that is always in my empties. This is the Equate Beauty Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. I love this stuff. I use it on my cotton rounds and then I go over my entire face with it. It does not break me out. It doesn't sting my eyes and I feel like it just works so well. I've tried out the high-end makeup removers. I've tried out makeup white but I feel like nothing compares to this one and it's only three bucks at Walmart. I finished up a sample of this Bobbi Brown hydrating face cream and I think this lasted me for about two or three days maybe and it was good. It wasn't the best. I don't know. I wouldn't purchase it because for one Bobbi Brown's not cruelty free and I feel like it's way too expensive for what it is. And finally I finished this Revive Avocado Face Mask. I did get recently get a set of five sheet masks. I included them in my recent collective beauty haul so I linked it up in the card. But I really enjoyed this mask. I exfoliated before and then I used a clay mask and then I put this on to soothe my skin and my skin was so clear and so plump and less red the next day. If I can find that five pack again I would totally pick it up. This is the only one I've tried so far but this mask was really awesome. So that was my beauty trash for the month of February. That was definitely my shortest empties video of my life. I'm hoping to have some more in the next month. Also, if you go to my Peacock inspired makeup tutorial, I have a giveaway inside that video of some ColourPop products. So if you're interested, please check out that video and enter. I will link it up in the cards. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.